You don't have to wait for it because you're only recording the center screen. It gives me an easy visual. Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles with Static Squirrel. Oh, lo. Kazap. Bang. <laughs> Thunder noises. To be edited in later. <laughs> <laughs> and gun bunny g u n n bunny and we are we are making our way along but you have been skirmishing in the off season yes i uh i went and spent a lot of time well not a lot but a little bit uh doing all the skirmishes they were largely just reskins of maps we'd already done only with all these story elements and special objectives removed so not really interesting. I double-checked. I made sure he didn't do anything fun without us. We also found out where these special episodes are. <laughs> yeah, we found out where these special reports are. So, uh, as you can see here, this is episode three. But those special reports we've been buying from the writing on the wall show up in between the existing chapters. So, we've bought three of them. And here's number two as well. So... We will play those, but first we're going to go spend some of our fun money. Yes. We have fun money! Because those skirmishes also give us... Uh, also give us money and experience to work with. Yep. We get shiny stuff. We sure do. So... Uh, what would we like to buy with... 57,454 experience. And 70,000 ducats. Yeah. Well, first, I'm going to check the war cemetery. That's fair. I don't know if it'll give us another one. I don't know. Hello again, son. Hello. I'm sorry, but I have nothing I can teach you now. Work at making the last one yours. Okay. I hope we'll meet again. Should you wish, you can likely find me here. I wonder if there's somewhere you can find out who that guy actually is. I think it must come up as it goes along. Anyway. Let's go buy some stuff. Now, uh, do we do the training field or do we buy things? Uh, let's go to Castlefront first. Okay. I can't remember if we have something to buy. I don't think we do. I thought we missed something. No, hey, not here. Uh, in the, the upgrades. The the I think we bought man. everything. Oh, and yeah. how about the new rising star of Squad 7, huh? I've heard some wild stories. You must be proud. Uh, yeah, sure of him or her. I couldn't help but snipe him with a pop interview. You'll have to read it once I get it all drafted up. Okay, um, this we've all done. Yep. So, come to make a donation to the Get Ellet's Name on a Book Fund? <laughs> And we've bought all these. Yeah, I thought we were good. Okay, so we have done all that. So Come back and see now it's off to the R&D. Let's buy some neat stuff. Shiny. Shiny. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, weapons. I think we've bought all of these for now. I can't remember if we skipped one. Uh... I know we missed some tank stuff that we might as well just get for fun. Yeah. Because I know I've largely been skipping the, uh, uh, this stuff because, like, tread HP plus 50, tread defense plus 10. But now we can get it for fun. Yeah. Let's get it for fun. Here Thanks, friend. I mean, sure, we'll throw it on there, like, I guess. <laughs> Might as well. I guess it won't hurt. I wonder if this I wonder if this actually changes the appearance of the tank. Well, everything else has had a little bit of an adjustment, so it would make sense to me that maybe not these really early ones, but as it rolls along. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Well, and that maxes it out. Until we start trading out pieces. Yeah. And I think... 
think okay, we got we're everything all, else. We're all bought up on the Edelweiss here. Woohoo! Okay, um, we have tons of money left over. You did a little bit of building. Yeah. Come back again soon, bro. I mean it, man. Sure, no problem, fam. All right, I guess to the training field. Let's see what we can do. We can boof some people a I'm, little bit. Because I know at some Welcome point you do unlock the elite, air quotes, and then they get some new new things. Trade all you want. I've got all day. Okay, well, uh... Everybody wants. Man, the experience does not go as far. Like, at all. I still well, think... We still have over half of it, I guess. Yeah. You're better than this! Push those limits! Okay. Like, I mean, that's fantastic. Go We're gonna get another targets. road. You're one level closer to human. Yep. Ooh. Okay, you've earned clearance for a new order. Put it to good use out there. Hooray! What did we gain? All units defend. Raises all allies' defense. Okay. I could see that being... Wow, the prices jump. Can we do it all again? No. I think we can do three of them. I can get the engineer in there. Uh, not quite. That's okay. Almost. Almost. You're better than this. Push those limits. It's okay. That is. That is a large increase overall. Yep. Good work, maggots. You're one level closer to human. Looks like that session beat a new potential out of the shock troopers. Ooh. Nice. Okay. Oh, you've earned nice. clearance for a new order. Put it to good use out there. This has been nice. This has been nice. You've learned damage boost. Raise one ally's anti-tank attack power. Woohoo! I wonder how much. Okay. Wow, that was that was pretty good. Next time we clearly are leveling. Wow, the look at how expensive these get. It goes to show that as much as you did grind those those um, skirmishes, it didn't go very far. You would have to sit there and really labor on them to make it a, a turnaround. Yeah, that was... Wow, I thought that would go a little further. <laughs> the important part is, you did your best. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's start here. Personnel tab has been updated. Start with save! <laughs> oh, yes, good call. <laughs> Before it crashes on us. All right, and now for Ellet Embedded. Let the interviews begin. Squad 7 of Regiment 3. My first impression, good. Should have shot her. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Welkin Gunther, squad leader. Next in command, Sergeant Alicia Melkiot. Oh, that lieutenant looks softer than I'd expect for the son of the late General Gunther. Oh, soft. I well, know, I'm her, hurt. Her hometown is Brule. Same as Gunther. Could be childhood friends. <laughs> but if I'm lucky, they were childhood sweethearts. We shot a guy I'd like five people. To find out how close they are. Next on the list, Sergeant Largo Potter and Corporal Bridget Stark. Oh, wait, that's right. Stark had a nickname. Gotta jot that down. Goes by Rosie. There. Looks like those two don't trust Gunther much yet. That could be good. Could be really good. Who does that leave? Right. The tank pilot, Corporal Isara Gunther. Ah, huh, she's the lieutenant's sister. Looks really sad. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's a terrible picture. She looks darksome to me. Wonder how that comes into the picture. <laughs> you couldn't ask for a more colorful crew than that, could you? Something tells me these guys are different than the usual troops somehow. Hmm. Maybe my keen journalistic instincts? <laughs> I want to say this is ridiculous, but I don't know. I've met enough writers that this is like their own. The they live in their own headspace. Itself. Here I come. Ready or not? No, that that sounds like most most foot reporters I know. Yeah. <laughs> Elliot embedded. Largo and Rosie. Oh, 
There's Sergeant Potter and Corporal Stark with him. Oh boy. Hey, guys, mind if I ask a few questions? It'll only take a second. That's a lie. <laughs> what, like an interview? What do you want to go interviewing us for? Aw, oh, come on, big guy. I bet we'd make better topics than some rich kid. <laughs> well, okay, we know who's into this. Yep, yep, someone likes fame. Wonderful. Let's start with you then, Largo. You fought in the first European War, right? Yeah, I've been a soldier ever since, too. I'm what you'd call a seasoned warrior, see? See. <laughs> and why did you choose to stay in the force? Most people try to avoid the soldiering life. It's an honest living, plus I got my reasons. Besides, I ain't the only one. Look at L. L? Who's L? If I had to guess, I'd say Eleanor Verrat. Captain Verrat, that is. Third Regiment. It seems you've got quite a history with her. Care to fill in some details for us? The, there ain't no details. Is this the trash you want to write about? You know, this guy operates a giant weapon. I don't know if we start with his love interests. Yeah. Look, I'm a busy guy. I'm out of here. Hey, Largo, wait up. Oh, just let him go. We can have a little chat, just the two of us girls. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> so, Rosie. Can I call you Rosie? Beautiful name, by the way. Do you like flowers? <laughs> I used to sing at a bar. It was hardly a flower patch, but my nickname there stuck. Tell you what, though. Some customers came from miles away just to hear me sing. My, my. So why is a pretty young songbird with a voice as sweet as a rose so... thorny towards Lieutenant Gunther and all those others? A diplomatic response. <laughs> That's because if you tell her, go away, it's none of your business. She's just going to keep existing. <laughs> Traumatic past experience with the darks and leave you bitter, maybe? Think what you want. I got better things to do than sit around gabbing about him is all. I shot a guy, you can like, five feet over there. Logic, yeah. yeah. It's probably still just juicy. Yeah. To feel sick. Bet she'd spill the beans if you got her riled up enough. Maybe next time. Yeah, there it is. Poke the bear! Poke <laughs> the bear! Still, a veteran carrying a torch for his captain and a darkson hating Chanteuse? They may be cranky, but they're characters. Technically, everyone is a character. <laughs> yeah, but some are boring. Isada. Well, in fairness, in books, some characters are boring. <laughs> <laughs> Boo! Oh, hello, Miss Ellet. How are you? Unfaced. <laughs> A little freaked out now. You didn't even bat an eye at that. Okay, in fairness, I'm becoming We're a hardened, the sky like, intently. tank I be, operator. I get shot a lot. <laughs> On top of that, I'd be happy I heard you. I don't wear headphones. <laughs> yeah, she does. They're around her neck. Oh, I just can't see it. I'd like to fly. <clears throat> well, actually, I'd like to fly my brother. Fly your brother? Care to expound on that? That says That's expound. Easy. This does expound, right? It does. Okay. I was also gonna say, fly your brother. What's what's to explain? I want to jump on his back, pull his hair, and whoo into the sky. Cue noises from a <laughs> never-ending story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> you don't seem the type to have her head in the clouds. It's very <clears throat> romantic. I believe myself to be quite logical, really. Too logical, perhaps. It's called stoic. I have that condition. Okay, so if you don't mind my asking, how exactly are you and your brother related? Wait, let's leave that for now. How would you describe your brother as a person? Welks is... 
Objectively speaking, he can seem a little strange sometimes. <laughs> thanks for thanks for pulling that one out. I think you should be offended where it's I coming see. from. Although I'm a little unsure of what that means, coming from you. Right? <laughs> right? But he is a very kind person, and loyal. Anytime my heritage brought me trouble, he was the first to come to my defense. I see. Sounds like you really love him, huh? I would say I respect him a great deal. Gotcha. Sounds Find like you him to be very the amiable. Then. Yeah. Yes, very much so. That's why I'd like to give him the opportunity to fly. I'm still not sure I follow that exactly, but we'll leave that for another day. Thanks for your time. Next up, squad leader Gunther himself. So, very nosy individual. Oh, well, this is not a popularity job. Yeah, Welkin and Alicia. Hello, hello! Are you ready for your big interview? Hello, Miss Ellett. Hard at work again, I see. Didn't you already interview him before? Oh, Alicia, I wanted to get in a chat with you today, too. Wait, really? You're going to write an article about me? Wow, tune changed. I told Super you, she, she does not care about him. He is a sled in which she <laughs> rides to fame. I can't say whether it'll make the paper, but I do have some questions for you. You've been at Lieutenant Gunther's side since you left Brule. Tell me what he's like. He gave me poop. <laughs> yeah, I swear. Wait a minute. You want to interview me about him? Well, let's see. We only met just a few days ago, but... He's this is a pretty violent person. war. You that we've had like six combats next. in a few days. Well, like, that's I mean, hostile. Considering that, like, they pushed to the... Just outside the capital in like a week. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a pretty charged war. I see, I see. So forget he's your boss for a second. What do you think of him as a guy? Uh, about five eight. I've, I've never really thought fits about in his it. uniform adequately. Know. Knows an uncomfortable amount about Insects goat droppings and <laughs> entomology. <laughs> <laughs> Is that so? Well, Lieutenant Gunther, care to comment in her place? Lieutenant, where'd he go? He's out playing with poop. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Oh, sorry. Uh, there was See? just Bugs. this crazy looking bug. I got distracted. See what I mean? He's an interesting guy, if unpredictable. It's called ADD. Whee! No kidding. <laughs> the static now, squirrel Lieutenant has it Gunther, on a pretty good I level. I've seen this before. <laughs> First up, how do you feel about this war, as the son of a hero from the first European war? Same as anybody else, I guess. I want it to be over. Are people looking at me as the son of a hero? Well, maybe I am, but I'm still just me. Okay, then. Let's talk about you. I what hate this concept. My father was a great war hero, so I must be as well. Yeah. Can, can we stop making it sound like I'm just a ops like a literal cutting yes i am i am not a bamboo shoot <laughs> i feel like the present world is made up of things we've inherited from the past we get life and a home from our parents knowledge from our teachers and not just the good stuff take prejudice against darksons that's learned behavior uh-huh Every creature out there is trying to pass things along to future generations. I want to pass on what I think is right. I'm fighting for the ability to do that. Thank you very much. That's all I've got for you today. Great. We're done? I want to get back to that fascinating insect again. Huh. You really hit the nail on the head. He's as entertaining as he is unpredictable. I was planning I don't know, on it feels along pretty to the next squad Three, after two, one, beetle, squad seven. Butterfly. 
Man's just out there chasing a bee. Paper plane, paper plane. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I'll stick around and learn a bit more about you sevens, if you don't mind. Not at all. Just try to stay out of the combat zones for your own safety. I'm not making any promises. I am a reporter and therefore suicidal. <laughs> I go where the scoop takes me. No will to live. That's just how I roll. None. <laughs> okay, that's her. What's the the other one we have is a Largo one? Uh, we have a Largo one. All right. Largo's passion. What well, looks like a combat map. God, I'm starving. Why do they call us here at lunchtime? Maybe they called us for lunch. Oh, you always get snippy the minute your stomach rumbles, Largo. Sorry, guys. Have you been waiting long? I'll get right to the briefing. You may already be aware of the recent hike in food prices. Yes, well, war does that when half the country goes disappears to occupation. I do remember one worker at the mess hall mentioning that produce prices were rising. Apparently the Empire has taken hold of the trade route farmers use to ship their stock. What did you say? Vegetable crisis grips Gallia. Not a very exciting headline. You mocking the power of vegetables? <laughs> wow, okay Largo. Easy. <laughs> the power of the vegetables. What? I was just... What's your problem? This man needs to eat. Yeah. He's just really mean <laughs> when he's low like sugar. Vegetables packed tight with all kinds of important nutrients. Right, so Largo was a farmer. <laughs> or a vegetarian. Kids gotta eat them to grow up right. And the body's practically made of vegetables. Possibly vegetarian. <laughs> yeah. Which are like bombs? <laughs> In any case, Squad 7's next mission is to clear that trade route of Imperials. All right, time to put the fear of veggies into these imps. You know, he's attached. That's a that's a way. The fear of veggies? Is he serious? Just feed this man. I think he's becoming <laughs> delirious. This is like a a glucose a new problem. Has been added. All right, Largo's passion, vegetable route incident <laughs> <laughs> amazing you will now be briefed on the operation oh boy what sort of vegetable incident are we down for this mission will be fought in the outskirts of vassal an enemy blockade is restricted traffic along this route fear of combat spilling over into civilian dwellings here will prevent us from making this a large scale operation what, what does that mean? You have to leave your tank on the sidelines and lead a small force of foot soldiers into the village. Oh. Well, yeah, you run a bunch of civilians over your with the tank. Your objective is to destroy press. the two tanks standing on the road ahead. Hogger. You're likely to face heavy fire from those tanks if you just march along the road. Yeah, no shit. Maybe the long way around, but you're better off heading through the village and securing a spot to attack safely. I'm afraid we can't spare a medic to accompany the team as small as the one you'll be taking in. Oh, all right, don't get shot. To compound things, this is a night op. You'll be dealing with less visibility. There will be no sight lines to targets more than a certain distance away, and you can't spot them in action mode. Consequently, if even if your one soldier falls in combat, you'll pull out immediately. Mission failure. There's a lot of special conditions and requirements. Be extra careful as you plan each move out there. On a final note... You won't have your tank's wireless set up, so you won't be able to issue orders during this mission. Oh, Jesus Christ. Stop. No, no things for you. <laughs> God. None. None. Any ally falls in action. Oh. Okay, well, we do. Three? <laughs> okay. We, Why? We have some night people, though. Yeah, okay, so Welkin has to go. And he's... Acting as a scout. I'm assuming that's Largo. Yeah. 
See uh, if we have any. I know that normally we like the the sergeants, but we only have three people. So let's see if we have some people that are just night people. I know. I know one. We get one. Oh, because we have to take Largo and Welkin. Yeah. All right. Somebody with night. So I'm looking for. I'm hoping night vision. Okay. We have Alex, who's a shock trooper. No, Alex, who's a yeah a shock trooper. Sorry. Yes. I'm like that's a shock trooper. <sighs> I like the night vision, and I want to take him, but at the same time... Well, look at the other people, though. Well, or do you just want a shock trooper? I would really like a shock trooper for doing tight corners. I guess. Let's have a look, though, who we've got. Just in just in curiosity land. You never know what we might have. Yeah. Okay, I don't want to take another Lancer. I don't want to take an Engineer or a Sniper. Uh... Oh, a sniper not be, it might not be worse. Bad. It's night. We only have one, the, the only one sniper, right? Yeah. But it's night. He's not. Gonna I know, but I don't know what his um, I didn't know what yeah. his traits were. And it's, it's all housing, so it's. Okay, let's look at shock troopers. Are we gonna do? Yeah, cause. The nocturnal's nice. Those are also good perks. For a scout. But I really want a shock trooper so i'm trying to decide between him who has night vision and or, scout killer yeah melee or, skills and i don't know alex looks pretty good i know but i really like the extra point like command point that rosie gives us i don't think you need it i think you got to step away from it for this okay, one okay we'll take alex because he's got some very relevant perks. yeah i think alex is this is his moment all right all right we're set to begin good luck and Welkin gets almost none of his skills because he's not in the tank. The bastards blocking our veggies are here, ain't they? Let's bust some heads. Okay, Largo, be chill. I would like to eventually find out what this is. Like, <laughs> is this the ringing of my ears have done things to me? <laughs> <laughs> right. Shh, be quiet. You want them to hear us? The ringing of my ears? <laughs> yeah. This is a stealth operation with just a few soldiers. Lose anyone and the mission fails. Yeah, I got it. Now let's go get violent for vegetables. Yeah. <laughs> Tinnitus um, or something. You want to work with me here, Largo? There's a... There's something not being explained there. Alright, um... So this is probably how I get murdered by tanks. So... So, these look like walls, so it looks like I need to go around this way, and all the way around the back. I wonder if we can go over that building, because we've got two ladders there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that means we can go up and over this, or around the side, although I imagine there's an ambush in there waiting. Yep. It feels like a ambush. So... The, the 21 looks like a ambush. Yeah, so I think this way behind here, around down this street, back up into here... This is probably another fight, because that looks like sandbags. And then up here, down and hide in the grass to blow up tanks. Yeah, I think that's going to be the way. All right, uh, scout. Ready to go. I'm expecting there to be somebody there, to be honest. Please proceed with caution. Get on the ladder and have a look. Enemy sighted. Oh, there Pay attention one. to the enemy's position. See, that was a ham bush. Yeah. Think you should just go up the ladder. No, we're gonna Take remove this. his existence. Feel you could have done that from the ladder. I'm impressed, but not surprised. Don't give them an opportunity to attack. I'm glad I got him. Okay, that's as far as you go for now. And I guess we just bring up the rear. I can just hear Largo now. Stop following me with the tuba. <laughs> ah! Oh, there is somebody here. Bogger. Try to strike the enemy. Did you take the wrong turn? Well, I looked down that way as I went by, and apparently the uh, nocturnal thing. I'm on my way now. Bogger, I should have moved him last anyway. Ready or not? <laughs> okay, you like to duck, so we're gonna aim at your knees. Good call. Case in point. And 
didn't kill him. More's the pity. I still think Alex was the right pick. Yeah. The melee immediately bonus. Wow, he just does not take much damage up close. Good job. Way to be, Alex. Told you, I think he's the right guy for here. Okay, so there's somebody down there. There's somebody there. That one's moving towards Welkin. Not moving away now. And around the house again? Patrolling? I guess. There's another one over there. That one I suspected. Yeah, I was pretty confident of that one. Another one. Okay, I might... Might be sending Alex up next, though, because if he's got... If he can see that much better... Yeah, I think that he goes first. Okay, everybody heal up. Just leave it to me! He clearly sees that much better. Ugh, he is... Running and moving fast, though. Shop trooper. Oh, I can see my house from here. Oh, and he's good up here. Get back here alive. Cool. I know we can't really do that right now. Uh -huh, I can't descend, probably because Welkin's in the way. Yep. Okay, just so let's just this. move Largo up. Bum, ba -na -na -na, bum, ba -na. <laughs> right. It's tough to be a. Please it's tough to be a Largo. <laughs> Okay. Ready to go. Alright, Welkin. No, there he yeah, is. There he is. Okay, and we're going to be buy. using a lot of grenades this round. That was a good throw. That was. He caught it very well. Yes! Just keep up this pace. I miss Nancy. Yippee! <sighs> Get back Gotta love nature. We're gonna leave you there because I don't want to get you too far away from everyone else. Right oh, now. he'll die. He'll die so bad. Yeah, because there is somebody else down around that corner. Maybe two. Or it's the same guy moving twice. I'm hoping it's the same guy. Alright, uh, that's gotta be at least two of them. Feels like two for minimum. Yeah. Maybe not three, but two. We will start with our man, Alex. Just leave it to me. Go, go, Power Rangers. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I have no idea why my brain's like, yeah, that's the noises we make here. Murder. I think we could hit that. Do it. Ah, uh, we hit that. <laughs> Patrick, honk, honk. Do you know <laughs> that Power Rangers was the first time I ever saw a villain win when really? I was a kid? Yeah, because they kill the Green Ranger. And although, they like, wait, later yeah. on, the Green Ranger revives as the White Ranger and it was, like, a whole deal. In the days of being a kid, they kill the Green Ranger and then there's, like, a very long gap there uh, where the season ahead, ends. And back in those days, like, to be discovered in five months, we will find out that he's not, like, dead and Here it's not go. like the green ranger comes back as the green ranger so when you're really young you're like oh my god they like they like killed a guy they killed killed him and and they like won and stuff it was it was a big deal <laughs> oh you're on a mounted gun mm. come on welkin oh you tried you tried i give you that All right. Yeah, that's a mounted gun. <laughs> that's not super. We'll get it. That's less super. There's a dude. Oh. No, 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 no. <gasps> <laughs> cover, kids. Hide behind cover. Welcome, oh. Jesus Christ. Or you're going to be the Green Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. But well, we knew there was an. I told you there had to be two guys there. Okay, well that's that's just. Welcome, duck. 
Try! Doc, for the love of all that is unholy. If he kills him, you owe him an apology. <laughs> he didn't. You get my point. Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh. oh my god, we're alive with nine. Oh. Welcome. No, we're not. Nope. Game. Oh! Thank god. <laughs> Okay, Welkin is not moving. Yeah. Yeah, he's in peaceful mode. Welkin, hang out. Just leave it to me. He heals a little, though, doesn't he? Everybody heals a little bit. I just couldn't remember. I need to kill you. And we got Welkin side-arming us because we're so close to him. Yeah. Why you? I'll cover you. Okay, there goes the Gatling gun. I did it! Good work. Okay, now we can end your turn, and the Lancer doesn't get reaction fire. <laughs> oh. That was nearly atrocious in a way I do not want to describe. With nine! <laughs> now, let's do this! <sighs> At least when they're next to each other, we get that bonus fire thing. Yeah. Okay, they... that was too close. That was... Why we gotta make these things so close? That was a moment of sheer panic. Why we gotta make these things so close? I was like, okay, he dodged it, we're fine, he's double moving. <coughs> <laughs> the Lancer of all things. <sighs> Too close. Just, Too much hugging. I mean, that being said, at the same moment, he took a heat round to the face and did not just evaporate. Yeah, that's why you're the boss. You just got literally shot in the face. Still cool. four. Alex is going first. You think? I'm on my way now. That was a moment of sheer panic. It's a good thing we had him in duck and covered there. Oh, we'd have been liquid. Jelly roll. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually really liking Alex. Ready to go. The fact that he gets a bonus on top of um, towers, we need to remember. Yes, that that's what Acrobat does. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I will finish exploring this later. We're going to make sure both sides are covered. <laughs> that and Welkin could just use a couple this. rounds of just, like, band-aids. Not being shot? <laughs> band-aids. All right, Lario. My organs are being held in with an ace bandage. That's probably a bad there. thing. Yeah. If there's something above us, we're a collective group, eh? <laughs> well, I'm hoping not. I'm really hoping that's all the infantry here. I think so, based on the fact that they have no movement. Yeah. So we're down to just tanks. I am, however, untrustworthy. Just leave it to so, me. Alex. Your I turn. see you clear as day. Take a peek over there. Take a peek over there. Enemy tank spotted. Brace yourself. Enemy sighted. Fire. Enemy spotted. My leg. They got my... And you're just gonna stay there, in the grass. Shut up, Good I'm a tool here. shed. I'm just a stray lawnmower. These things get left all the time. <laughs> Alright, Largo. Please don't light up on the offense. That is the first time we've seen somebody crawl with a heavy piece of equipment. That's pretty good. Shoot the little glowing battery pack. You can do it, Largo. I believe... Oh, look, they have side guards on. Cool. Boom. Yeah. Hooray! He got one. All right. You're doing well. Just keep it up. Are we going to move him again? Yes. Just makes the most sense, right? Well, there's no point in moving Walker. Been waiting here. What's he going to do? <laughs> He's got an ace bandage holding his organs in. <laughs> Boom! Right into the hill. <sighs> I worried about that. Yeah, well. <laughs> He's doing his best, I guess. <laughs> Is that tank really not going to move? Jesus, I thought that was going to turn and shoot you. 
That's why we're in the in the tall grass. We're like Pokemon. We're invisible. <laughs> <laughs> Been waiting here. You're gonna have to back him up to not hit that lip. No, it's okay. I can, I can hit this. I just need Largo not to hit that like bottom corner of his. You reticle. think you can hit this, Largo? <laughs> <laughs> can yeah. totally do this. <laughs> Hooray! For the vegetables. For the vegetables. <laughs> Operation complete. Both enemy tanks neutralized. And Welkin ate shite. C. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Welkin took a heat round to the eyeballs. He didn't die. I do not want to be part of you. You didn't die, company. <laughs> <laughs> Still alive. <laughs> a new episode has been added. Largo's dream. She's gonna sit and eat a big salad. You know what that? You no, know that's what this gonna is. He's gonna literally sit down and eat a pumpkin, like just a whole pumpkin. Oh yeah, with <laughs> a spoon. That should end our vegetable shortage. <laughs> I ever tell you my old man's a farmer? There you go. It feels good to know I'm helping farm folk out. Growing up on the farm, I was always helping with the harvest out there in the field. I'm serious when I say veggies are king too. The more you eat. The healthier you get. I agree. A lot of nutrients vegetables offer can't be found anywhere else. Plus, I feel like vegetables are a way to take in the power of nature as a whole. I feel whole. like we're having one of those episodes where TV was demanded to make moral compass episodes in the 90s. Yeah. We're like pulling over and having a, vegetables are important. Mm -hmm. Make sure you eat all power your vegetables. Nature, huh? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Plants grow by absorbing energy from the sun, the soil, even tiny microbes. This is uncomfortably educational. <laughs> well, everything well is says like it getting is. all that natural energy right from the source. <laughs> never heard veggies told quite like that before. Okay, in fairness, never heard veggies told Largo's way either. Yeah, well. <laughs> I tell you, boss, you got your head on right. You got my mark. <laughs> Thanks, Largo. That means a lot to me. Hey, boss. Let me tell you a stupid dream I have. My folks' old farm went under, but I want to start it up again. As an organic veggie farm. Funny, huh? Big macho man goes from flinging bullets to being king of the carrot patch. Oh no, heavy tinnitus. Vegetable farming after wandering around whipping heat rounds at tanks doesn't sound so bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, I feel you. I'm not laughing. If you're dedicated, I'm sure you'll grow some fine vegetables. Once you're all set up and harvesting, you'll have to let me sample what you've grown. Boss, you'd be welcome to eat all you wanted. But you'd have to help with the harvest. And out on the farm, I'm squad leader. Be ready for the workout of your life. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Have you seen Welkin? <laughs> I'm feeling good today. Veggies for all. Welkin got shot. <laughs> Boom! Personal tab has been updated. Hooray! And I think we have another one? Yes. Which looks like a whole bunch of stories. So, I... A taste of home. An unexpected visit. And done. That takes care of the report. Hmm? Well, who's there? Moink! Moink! The Moink! <laughs> you want a medal? Hans? Did you come here all by yourself? Boy, you sure are smart. Pigs are actually quite smart. Yeah, most of them. Some of them are even nice. <clears throat> it can happen. It's a breeding mm. thing, though. They breed pigs to be kind. Mm. Hey, stop tugging, Hans. What's up? Is there something this way? You don't really love me. You've never given me a flying little pig. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't okay, okay, fly. I get it. Lead the way. It, the well, wings, it doesn't use the wings to fly. The wings are superficial. <laughs> <laughs> Any pig can fly once. 
They don't land very well, but they fly no problem. Every creature in existence can fly. <laughs> you went and got Welkin for me? Nice going, Hans. Thanks. Wrong. I just got led around base by a pig. Any idea what he wants with me, Alicia? Well, being as it's a pig, probably wants to eat you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sir. It's looking for oh, its no, food I bowl. I was the one who wanted to see you. Are you hungry, Welkin? Hungry? Well, yeah, actually. Let's eat the pig. No. <laughs> really? Thank oh, you. good. I whipped a little something up for you. Come see. What? Back in the kitchen? Whoa. She's a baker. She's been very clear about this. <laughs> she still wears the scarf. A new episode has been added. A taste of home. Tea for two and a half. never seen so much bread in one place. You baked all this yourself, Alicia? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's we don't a have a bakery in our anything. town. Well, I was worried not that he's ever been rusty. to. Yeah, I was going to say, he probably but just hasn't been there. He's the out looking at a bottle. So I helped myself. Mm, it smells great. Okay. That being said, fresh bread, goes. hops. <laughs> yeah, we have a friend who's a baker. It's bad news. Mm. A bread baker to be specific. Yes. Welkin? Horrific one. Okay? <laughs> Delicious! Really? <laughs> yeah. I've never eaten bread this good. It's really impressive. Um. Um. And this is when we stop fitting in our uniform and we can't get in the tank um. lid anymore. Welkin, you look like a chipmunk. You know how chipmunks and hamsters stuff their little cheeks full of food like that? I finally understand why. <laughs> and then he exploded. And that's why he has to ride the tank. <laughs> Maybe we should feed the kitty for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> the bunny gets the pancake. <laughs> Alicia's ambition. Oh, I'm so full. That was great, huh, Hans? Did you really stuff the pig with bread? In fairness, it's actually not bad to feed pigs bread. Really? Yeah. Huh. Unlike a lot of animals, Ooh, they process my. it completely fine. I can't believe you put it all away. It was a little scary watching you two eat. I kept my hands in <laughs> tight to my chest. <laughs> Elbows in, hands to the chest. <laughs> Knees apart. Knees apart. <laughs> <laughs> Still, I'm glad you liked it. It feels good to see people enjoying my bread. It felt good eating it. Thanks for baking it all. I'm just You're imagining welcome. they ate that entire table oh, of welcome. bread. That's uh, where I am in my head. Yeah. There's just a little crumb. There we go. Aw, mommy time. <laughs> hmm? Oh. <laughs> so, uh... You said you worked at a bakery before the war started? Yeah. I was a live-in apprentice under the Meister running the shop. That sounds good, except I know exactly what that means. And feeding uh, bakery fires in the dark of the night is actually quite dangerous. Because if you overfeed the fire, the flower particle in the air will explode. Welcome to how grain elevators explode. Yeah. Once things settle down, I plan on taking the national exams and opening up my own bakery. Although maybe we've slightly improved tech based on what's being said here. I, I think they're a little beyond that point in time. That's the Second World War, though. Yeah, but this place seems a little more up on it. Yeah, we're there. Wow. You need to be licensed to run a bakery? That sounds pretty tough. They explode. They explode now. That You don't want unlicensed people making food. That's how you get horrific outbreaks <laughs> <laughs> it's been my dream since i was a little girl it's what i enjoy doing the most i love imagining entire families eating the bread i make together a loving husband maybe and cute little kids waiting for their mom to get home she comes in with a big basket of my bread and the kids all cheer and embrace her okay 
<laughs> We've had some time with this. Yeah. Oh, and what if my bread brings the husband and wife closer together? A lot of time with this. Well, she is a live-in apprentice. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. She could say, Oh, honey, you have a crumb in your beard. And then she'd... <laughs> uh... And then it gets lewd. <laughs> Listen to me. <laughs> That's just like what happened here a minute ago, Welkin. But I, um... Are... Are you all right, Alicia? Huh? I, I'm fine. Anyway, <laughs> I'll keep baking it if you keep eating it. And then it got lewd. <laughs> and then it got weird. <laughs> it's a deal. And thanks again. Personal tab has been updated. And I think that catches us up. There we go. It does. I think we will stop here, even if this turns out to be a little shorter. Um, I think we have experience. I'd like to. Oh no, that's fair. But I don't think we should do any more. No. That, any more book today. This might be a little shorter, but if we go for another full chapter, I think that'll be a run on. Oh, we'll be two hours. <laughs> I wonder if anything new shows up here. I would imagine not, just based on what we. I mean, probably not. But let's look. We did do a thing for Largo, so I was kind of hoping maybe a Lancer thing showed up. I'm going to say no. But again, we're going to double check. At least we're not hurting for money in this department when we get there. No. You definitely got the money. Yeah, we're, we got a fair amount of money at the moment. Although I am I'm pretty conf confident that it's going to go into nothingness at the rate the prices have been climbing. Yeah, there'll be a point where you're like, well, I have so much money, and you're like, it bought me two things. Ha! Huh. Welcome to your worst nightmare, maggots! Alright, well, clearly the engineer. I've got all day! Okay. I'm gonna say we'll finish that off. And then we have enough to do Lancer or Sniper. Let's do Sniper and just keep it up. Okay. You're better than this. Push those limits. Did we use all the experience perfectly? Uh, no, no, we have two thousand left. Two thousand left. Did anybody get Good any potential? Work, maggots. You're one level closer to human. Let's find out. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> That's a negative target, buddy. I don't want anybody to fall too far behind. No, although, to be honest, if I was going to leave somebody behind, it would probably be these two. I know there are levels where you need a sniper in a big way. And I know there's a level where you need, like, four lancers. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's one of the, these three are always needed and always in demand, no matter what. These ones, sometimes, like, to be honest, the engineer's job is largely to babysit the tank. I think there will be a point where you want the engineer to be playing the medic. Maybe. Come back anytime you're ready to sweat. But the snipers are like they're really powerful, but there's just so many of the missions are just the sight lines are so short. Yeah. All right, well that was uh an excellent kind of weird catch-up episode, but we're there now. Yeah, that was uh, and the power of vegetables, apparently. <laughs> right, we all learned about vegetables today. So thank you once again for playing Valkyria Chronicles with Static Square. Olo. Olo. <laughs> and Gun Bunny, G-U-N-N -N, Bunny! Have a great afternoon, everybody. Bye-bye.